This video will show you how to initiate a tuning link session. First, choose which gauges you want displayed during your session. Right click any of the gauges to choose the channel you want displayed. If you are mapping a twin cylinder application, it is best to display both AFR channels. Next, click on Tuning Link to set up the configuration. Unless you are using a map switch, choose Map Position 1. Then choose which cylinders will be assigned which AFR channel. If this is a four cylinder application, right click and check all four cylinders. If this is a twin cylinder application, assign which cylinder is connected to AFR channel 1 and 2. Click Make Selection and choose Basic or Sensor Advanced. Then hit Start Session. This area shows your base map that you are starting with. These are the values that TuningLink will start tuning off of. Here you can designate the parameters of tuning link. You can set TPS sensitivity, which is best left at 2 unless you are mapping a fly-by-wire bike. Steady state error threshold is the range at which the software will tune to. We normally set this between 2 to 3 percent. Roll-on mode Excel values are user preference, but we normally reduce these slightly for V-twins and on sport bikes for partial throttle. On high horsepower bikes that have a high rev limit, we will increase these up to 1300. Map settings for mode 1 and 2 don't necessarily need to be adjusted as we will show you how to fine tune the target AFR values. Click on target AFR table. You can click and drag to select an area. Type in your desired AFR value. You can do this for independent cells if desired. If doing this on a V-twin, make sure to adjust both tables. You can click in the upper left corner to highlight the entire table and then use Control C and Control V to copy and paste. The percent error table is the main table that you will be monitoring while tuning. After a roll on, the cells will turn color indicating if the desired AFR table has been met or not. Continue tuning until all cells are green. Make sure to monitor both tables if tuning a twin cylinder. Heater 1 and Heater 2 allow you to turn on both sensors without having to go into dyno control software. Go to View to enable cell trace. This allows you to track TPS and RPM more easily. Auto scroll with cell trace will scroll down the RPM range if it is off your screen. You can choose the color of the retina if desired. You are now ready to start tuning the motorcycle. Click on which mode you want to start in and choose the desired cell in which to start.